going on? Very glad to see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow. You guys should know by now, I'm Elric, your host. Now, one of the biggest questions that I get every day of the week is, what's my choice, AMD or Intel? What's better, what should I do? How and why should I make a decision like this? Well, AMD and Intel both make CPUs. Now, AMD, since they bought ATI, they also make GPUs as well. So in some ways, as a total package, AMD has some better leverage over Intel. Now, the main thing is you have to ask yourself, what am I going to be doing? That's the first thing you gotta ask yourself. What are you doing with your computer? Because if the only thing that you're going to do with your computer is watch games at 1920 by 1080, there is absolutely no reason in the world that you can't use an AMD system. Even one of their Trinity APU systems with a 6670 will still play a lot of games at decent frame rates, even with a 6670. That's a very cheap system. You can put a whole system together like that for very low price. Now, with that said though, if gaming isn't the only thing you're doing, and when I say gaming, I pretty much mean gaming, internet surfing, typing documents, any of the basic type stuff, but your fun factor is gaming. There's nothing wrong with AMD. Now, if you're a person though, you're gonna be rendering in 3D. You're gonna be using a lot of type of stuff like Photoshop, high intense math calculations and those kinds of operations, you're gonna to wanna to go with an Intel-based system. I mean, there is a reason why Mac only chooses to use Intel in their systems and not AMD. When it comes to high-tech stuff, Intel is just better. They have less problems, they have less errors, just overall for high-end calculations, they are very good. Now, on the server side of things, there are all kinds of great AMD servers that are out now that'll totally work with our Opteron and other type of things. So in the server market, from what I'm hearing from the people out there, I'm not a big server guy, but in server market, even though Intel definitely has the lion's share of the market, hey, AMD still has some great solutions. So at the end of the day, a lot of people always ask this, what's better? It really just depends on what you're going to be doing. Now, I've bought a bunch of different laptops, for laptops, due to heat and the very fact that there's always more heat with AMD CPUs, that's one of the big things about them right now. Intel has cooling off things. With the laptops, I pretty much choose to go with Intel. With their HD 4000 graphics on their new stuff, they seem to work very well for those type of basic applications. You know what I'm saying? But you don't have to go out and spend big money on an Intel CPU and all this stuff if you just want to do basic things. The Intel CPU comes into play when you're doing things much beyond standard gaming. If you're just gaming, doing standard stuff, I have to say you should probably be looking at AMD unless you just have an enormous amount of money to spend. And in some cases, when we're comparing stuff, even with using an Nvidia card and Intel versus AMD and AMD on some of the gameplay, We've heard and we've seen from all their sites looking around that sometimes you get better performance. That's just the way that it is. So if you're somebody out there and right now you're sitting ready and you're going, hey, I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy a system. First off, determine what it is you're doing with your system. Determine your budget and then pick the parts that you want to go. There's all kinds of great things. And nowadays, pretty much all parts are almost plug and play. There are some people who have some extreme stuff that has problems with drivers and stuff, but almost even the most non-PC person can go out and buy a bunch of parts and put them together and it should work. So do it yourself, guys. You can save a lot of money by going out and building your own PC. So at the end of the day, when it comes to AMD versus Intel, there is no clear winner. Because sure, you can say that an, you know, an i7 that costs $1,200 gets you a little bit more frame rates than a CPU that only costs $85. But let's see here, $85, $1,200. Big difference there. And does that money difference justify the cost? Because the cost difference is major. For the longest time, I ran only Intel-based systems, but then we started doing a lot more experimenting. I started getting into the more AMD stuff, started playing around with it, and I found that a lot of these lower-end AMD systems 
play games absolutely fine. There's no problems. You save a lot of money. Now, if I'm doing something where I'm doing hard work, I'm going to be doing a bunch of editing and all that type of stuff. Well, then yes, I would definitely go with an Intel based CPU. So there you guys have it. That's the main question I get all the time. I hope this answers some questions for you guys. If you have more, you can always put comments below or you can send me a direct question right through the messaging here or you can send me a direct email at elric at techoftomorrow.com. But I hope this clarifies some stuff. So if you're out there looking, no, there's really not too much of a difference, just depending on what you're doing. Like usual, I hope you guys like this video. Please hit the like button and show me that you do. It'll make me think about doing more videos of this type. And if you're not subscribed, I hope that you would be so you never miss out on anything that's going on here on Tech of Tomorrow.